Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys the cold air intake that I put on my Trans Am uh, for this LS motor. Uh, I got it off eBay. It was $45. Well, that's how much it is now. I think I paid $60. Uh, instead of attaching the link, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys right here on my phone. Uh, this video is going to be as little editing as possible so I can actually get it out to you guys. $45 right there, 4 inch cold air intake system kit, heat and shield, 99-06, GMC Chevy, and that's for the 485360. There it is. There's a couple different options on there, but there is that one. Uh, so this is what you have to buy, and then also you need a 4 inch uh, coupler. It's showing up. It's $14.99 on Amazon, and it's about the same price in store. So, go ahead and show you what I had to do. So, I used everything except for the heat shield. Uh, the heat shield would normally, you know, go right here for the uh, pickups, what it's designed to do. So, um, and it's also designed to go that direction uh, on the truck. So, anyways, I flipped this thing upside down. Instead of going up and over the radiator rose on the other side, it's going underneath. I had to cut off a couple inches over here because I needed a spacer up here. There's a couple different ways you could do this. You could get a tube that's longer, but I was just trying to get it on the car as quick as possible because I got my new tires on and I wanted to be able to drive this. So I just cut off that two inches, went and got this coupler for about $15, put it on there, put the two inch, two inches, I mean, I don't, it wasn't an exact measurement, and then elbow onto that piece of pipe down here. Uh, I don't know if there wasn't enough clamps in the kit or not, or if I lost one, but for sure these are all new except for this one right here so uh anyways uh the only other thing you had to do to get it on the car was i had to cut off these aluminum brackets because they were not going to be used and as you can see this thing's it's pretty i mean it's pretty sturdy uh it is up against the radiator so i'm going to get a hold down for that made i'm going to probably make one out of stainless steel trim up this plastic so i can have some more clearance for this radiator hose so it's not rubbing uh, but anyways, I mean, really, I mean, you're looking at, what is it, $60, maybe uh, plus uh, some tax, I guess. Not too bad. This this isn't definitely not permanent. I'm going to eventually actually make this a cold air intake and have it go down here through the battery tray. This is the stock filter that it came with. So, anyways, there's the mass airflow sensor right there. I still haven't routed this permanently yet. I have plenty of slack, though. That's it on that. I don't think there's really anything else I could tell you. The only reason why I put that spacer in there was so it would it would clear the idler pulley. Um, but anyways, uh, the last video, I don't even remember what I made it on besides my truck. Since then, I've done quite a bit of stuff. I lost some footage. Uh, I'm going to try to recreate some of it. But these are the wheels that I powder coated and polished. They originally came on that car, and they were a silver. They were paint well. They were painted like a charcoal. So got the tires on it, and I went with some. Uh, uh, oh gosh, what are they? Falcons? Yeah, Falcons. Two forty-five, or uh, yeah, two forty-five fifties. They're super dirty right now. But anyways, I'll have a video coming up on how I routed my exhaust because I completely built that custom in the garage. So I did have actual video but lost it. So that really sucks. But I haven't been uh, just completely ignoring the car. I've actually done quite a bit of work to it and I've been driving it. Right now the heater is not blowing and I have no idea why. I haven't looked into it whatsoever. Anyways, this is what else I got going on in the garage. I'm working on the toolbox again now that it's getting colder outside. And also, I just need to get it done so I can get a permanent location in my garage for it. And that way I can actually fit something in here. I got almost all new drawer slides for the bottom. So now I'm able to actually paint it. I, didn't, I wanted to wait till I got all those in. There's a pile of them right there. Got some more else there we go yeah awesome so there'll be a video coming up when I get that done 
Uh, here's the welder and saw I got to do my exhaust. So uh, there was a lot of work that went into that, and this welder I got for a really good deal. That'll be a different story for another another video. So uh, I think that pretty much wraps this one up, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions on Oh gosh, everything I said in this video, I guess, the wheels, I probably won't make a video about that, but everything else, it'll be a separate video, so you can ask those questions when that time comes, but uh, I guess that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.